Honorable Minister Peters, dear Winston, welcome back to Jakarta. And first of all, congratulations on your appointment as Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of New Zealand. Colleagues from the media, communication and contacts between Indonesia and New Zealand are increasingly, uh, significantly increasing. The Vice President of Indonesia just visited New Zealand a few weeks ago. President Widodo and PM Luxon had a bilateral meeting in Melbourne last week at the sideline of ASEAN Australia Summit. <coughs> now, Foreign Minister uh, Peters visited me and discussed plan to have our joint commission meeting in New Zealand in May this year. Such intensive communication and contacts only happen because Indonesia and New Zealand enjoy good relation. We make effort to create good relation and we also make effort to nurture it based on respect to its other including respect to sovereignty and territorial integrity. During the meeting, we discuss not only bilateral issues but also regional and international issues including how to strengthen the collaboration in the Pacific. On the bilateral issues, we, we discussed the plan to convene the 11 Joint commis Ministerial Commission in Wellington, as I mentioned, May this year. We are now working on, a, uh, on the substance of the GMC. We recall that at the last GMC in November 2021, the two governments made commitments to advance economic cooperation as well as development cooperation. It is important, therefore, to evaluate our scorecard and refresh plan of action to gear our comprehensive partnership toward this commitment. I'm very also glad during the meeting that we Indonesia convey appreciation on the planned visit of PM Luxon to Indonesia and bring along the New Zealand businesses which can stimulate more trade between our two countries. Besides increasing the volume of the trade, I stress that our trade should be more balanced and therefore Indonesia seeks to improve its agricultural products to comply with New Zealand biosecurity requirements. We also discussed the progress with regard to mutual recognition on halal products. We have discussed New Zealand draft with Indonesia Halal Product Assurance Organizing Body or BPJH. A few pending matters remain uh, there and I'm confident that they will be resolved uh, soon. Therefore, I suggested that our two teams continue their consultation in this technical aspect. The updating of the existing educational cooperation arrangement may also become another potential deliverables for the GMC. During the discussion, we also discussed the engagement in the Pacific, and I emphasize Indonesia's consistent approach to actively take part in nurturing peace, stability, and prosperity as a part of the Pacific region. We aim to do this by elevating our engagement with the regional organization especially the MSG and the PIF, as well as bilaterally through our economic and development cooperation. Indonesia shared the same views with the New Zealand on our shared challenges such as climate change, disaster mitigation, as well as women empowerment. In that regard, the senior officials have started exploring the modalities for our cooperation last year in Wellington and therefore I hope we can start working toward more concrete collaboration on development cooperation which could be trial between our two embassies in Suva. Another important element that we discuss is our strong cooperation with the PIF. As one of the PIF dialogue partners, Indonesia hopes that the PIF summit next August in Tonga. The PIF can continue its deliberation on the attainment of the forum priority. 
based on principle of mutual respect, especially on sovereignty and territorial integrity. I believe that this is critical to foster friendly and effective regional cooperation in maintaining peace and stability amidst geopolitical tension and rivalry. Lastly, Minister Peters and I discuss about our two countries' role in numerous regional and global issues. We share our commitment to contribute again in maintaining peace and stability in the region. We discuss collaboration within the ASEAN context. Indonesia looks forward to working with New Zealand in implementing the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific to nurture inclusive cooperation in the region, including to strengthen the cooperation between ASEAN and the PRF. We also discussed the situation in Palestine. Given New Zealand's track record on human rights issues, I do believe that New Zealand has a similar concern on the humanitarian crisis in Palestine. So that is from me, uh, colleagues. Now I would like to invite Honourable Minister Peters to give your view. Winston. Uh, well, thank you very much, Foreign Minister, for that marvellous summation of uh, recent progress uh, between uh, Indonesia and New Zealand, and particularly uh, the step up in engagement uh, with the new government of New Zealand that's just passed its first 100 days in a government. Now, this has been very important in the extent of our contacts with Indonesia on a wide range of issues, as outlined by uh, Foreign Minister Masuri today. And we're in total agreement with the sentiments expressed here. But could we just say, in terms of uh, our present visit at this time, we began with the visit to the biggest mosque, uh, the third biggest mosque in the world, and the biggest mosque here in uh, Indonesia, for the purpose of uh, commemorating the tragic, tragic terrorism that happened from an offshore source in New Zealand uh, tomorrow, five years ago. And so we thought it was proper to go back and to uh, pay our respects with respect to the uh, organisation that was of such enormous help to us when it happened on uh, 2019. And after that event, on the 15th of March, we came straight to Indonesia to talk to uh, Foreign Minister Masudi and the Indonesian, Indonesian people and to leave from there to go to speak to the Muslim nations, the 42 nations, at a conference in uh, Istanbul. Now, I know I'm recapping history, but it's the importance of cooperation and progress between countries that understand the need for tolerance and the need to work together when such critical, tragic issues happen. Uh, on the bigger picture, uh, we're pleased to be back, and today um, we know that there's a new government about to be formed um, in the fullness of time. We have to wait four more days for what it might mean. Although I do suspect that you all know what it might mean by uh, your uh, calculations on the polling, but we always, always have to wait for the outcome. And so uh, it's wonderful to be here, albeit briefly, uh, to re-engage with uh, the Indonesian government, but also uh, someone I might say who's done a marvellous job as a foreign minister of Indonesia and is well respected, highly respected internationally. And she didn't ask me to say that. I'm, I'm volunteering it, right? Yes. Thank you.